Well, shifting focus with raging protests at home and a multi-front war on the borders. All is not looking well for the Israeli government. Now, as per the latest, thousands of ultra-Orthodox protests took to the protesters took to the streets of Jerusalem against the anti-draft military orders. Now, the protests, which quickly turned violent, come against the conscription of uh, the Haredi Yeshiva students into the military. The demonstrators pelted stones at authorities and uh, lit fires on roads and as for the police, the crowd also attacked the car of the housing minister as well. At least five people have been arrested. Most demonstrators are reported to be part of the extremist Jerusalem faction which has about 60,000 members. I'm here to support the cause over here um, against creating drafting to the army. I believe that as much as we need an army in Israel, we also need the army of people sitting learning Torah. They're doing a lot and we can't have them draft. We need to, we need the Torah in the country. We need the Torah and it's, uh, as far as I believe, it's a bad decision to try and stop that. Meanwhile, the Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has said that Israel will not stop its war until it achieves its goals over Hamas. Sunday's statement comes as, re as a reiteration of the Prime Minister's stance on quote-unquote total victory over the militant group. <laughs> As for the sacred task of freeing our hostages, there is no change in Israel's position regarding the release outlined that President Biden welcomed. And today everyone knows the simple truth. Hamas is the only obstacle to freeing our hostages. With a combination of political and military pressure, and first and foremost military pressure, we will return them all. The Palestinian Red Crescent Society retrieved bodies of at least six people killed in the Israeli strikes in southern Gaza's Rafah on Sunday. This comes as the idea of tanks pushed deeper into several districts in the east, west and center of the city. The footage shows volunteers carrying the bodies of the dead into white bags. Uh, they were later transferred to the Nasser Hospital in the nearby city of Khan Yunus. As per the Palestinian Health Ministry, Israeli armed forces have killed at least 43 people and wounded over a hundred in the last 24 hours. The ministry has warned that remaining hospitals, medical centers and oxygen stations in Gaza would cease to function within 48 hours due to the imminent depletion of fuel needed to keep the generators running. The total death toll from the war has risen to 37,000 while about 87,000 people have been wounded in the besieged strip since the conflict broke out. This comes as United States Ambassador to Egypt Ahero uh, Mustafa uh, visited aid storing facilities at the Rafah border crossing on Sunday to review the situation himself. This is the bed, so we are preparing this. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.